tournament again for the first time since 2016 as Marquette lines one out to left field loops that one over the head of Makarevich and to a board here for the green wave they got something cooking in the top of the first certainly do Houston 11 to 8 then flip the favor on him in the night cap as this one gets on the block of Joey Barini into left field and Tulane is going to score first five in the second semifinal game last night Looking to turn it around here, and it's a line shot, fair ball. Down the third baseline, that's going to run all the way into the corner. Brady Marquette will score. They're going to wave around Baumgart. Here's the play at the plate, not in time. Now, two, 2 to Moreland. Breaking pitches, filthy for Carmouche. And he seemed to have found it here in the fourth. East Carolina still with a 5-3 to three lead. We go to the fifth inning here. First inning. Rounds one back up the middle and into center field. That is the ninth hit of the week for Gavin Schultz. He's been stellar at the bottom of the order. Two-strike breaker. Root deals 1-2. Swung on, hit the other way and into right field. Great piece of hitting by Teo Banks. Gavin Schultz will come in to score. They will hold a bear at third. Those breakers that were just nasty. This one off the end of the bat towards second base. Starlin coming into field. They'll go to first with Banks will score in Tulane. If they were to win today, they would have won four. I know they're not counted as conference games, but four games against AAC opponents this week alone. As Schultz starts it off with a leadoff single in the top of the seventh. Two, two outs, first and second, and the payoff. Lifts this one out to left field for a base hit. Gavin Schultz being waved around. He will score. Now being held up at third is Bear and a huge insurance run. RBI single from Simon Baumgart. <laughs> one to Clonch, foul tipped in the mitt. Ooh. Filthy stuff. Wachter went out of the zone with it. Chases one down. Runner takes off. What a second. They got him. What a throw by Beckstead. But if you have two people that disagree, then clearly it's not conclusive enough. Not conclusive enough, but it is conclusive here. Tulane is advancing to the NCAA tournament for the first time since 2016. And finally, the most outstanding player in the 2023 American Baseball Championship, center fielder T.O. Banks with three home runs and 11 RBI. For the seventh seed to win this tournament, the lowest seed ever in the American Baseball Tournament, the first time for Tulane. You said it was going to take attitude and effort here today. How did this team show that in this victory? Yeah, I thought we were um, gritty. I thought we wanted it. Came out and did it. <laughs> what statement did this team make really throughout the entire week here of the tournament? Anything's possible. We heard it here first from Tio Banks. Thank you so much. Congratulations. And now we'd like to congratulate and present the trophy to the Tulane Green Wave with the captains. Please come forward to accept the trophy. Thank you and get home safely, everybody.